Morning boys and girls, today we will be learning Division 3.08.2. Students will be able to divide two-digit whole numbers by one-digit numbers using different strategies. First of all, what are the parts of a division problem? The dividend is the number you are dividing. The divisor is the number you are dividing by. And the quotient is the evenly divided result or answer. So for example, we have 20 for the dividend divided by 4 for the divisor, which equals to the quotient, which is 5. More ways to write a division problem. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. The 20 is inside the house, which is the dividend. The 4 is outside the house, which is the divisor. And 5 is the quotient, which is on the roof of the house. Another way is 20 divided by 4, which is with a fraction bar. The 20 is above the fraction bar, which is the dividend. And 4 is below the fraction bar, which is the divisor. And to your right is 5, which is your quotient. Division strategies. The first division strategy that we are going to do today is called repeated subtraction. Repeated subtraction of the same number. Subtract the divisor from the dividend until you get to 0. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 3 is your divisor, which is colored blue. 12 is colored purple, which is your dividend. First problem that you would do is 12 minus 3 equals 9. The difference is 9. So you take 9 for the next problem. 9 minus 3 equals 6. Now you take the difference from there. 6 minus 3 equals 3. Then you take the difference again, which is 3. 3 minus 3 equals 0. Then we start counting how many times did we divide into 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's how you got your 4 quotient. The next strategy is circles and dots. Division with circles and dots. When using circles and dots, you must turn the divisor into groups, such as circles. We're going to use the same problem and know that 3 is your divisor, so we will have 3 circles. The next step for circles and dots is you must equally distribute or divide the dots into the circles for the dividend. This is your problem again, with 3 as your divisor, so you must have 3 circles. Then, we will equally distribute or divide the dots inside the circles. Let's go count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you evenly distributed the dividend, which is 12. Now we must find a quotient. The amount of dots inside one circle is the quotient. Let's use this circle. Let's go count the dots. One, two, three, four. There are four dots in each circle, so the quotient is four. Equal shares. Division with equal shares. When using equal shares, the divisor tells you how many people you must share with. Same problem, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 3 is your divisor. And you are sharing it with 3 people. That means the 3 smiley faces. Division with equal shares. 
the dividend tells you how many times or how many items you are going to share with the divisor, which were the people. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The 3 is your divisor and the 12 is your dividend. We are sharing it with 3 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Each person got four brownies, and that's how you got your four quotient. Division with equal shares. Each person has an equal share. The amount of items each person has is the quotient. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The 3 is your divisor, your 12 is your dividend, and 4 is your quotient. Again, you're sharing it with 3 people. You're sharing 12 brownies with 3 people. And your quotient is 4. Each person got 4 brownies. 2 three, four. There are four equal shares for each person. So the quotient is four. The last strategy are number stories. When you want to create a number story for division, you must follow these four steps. You must do equal shares with happy faces for the divisor, create circles, which are your divisor, and dots for your dividend, then you must find a quotient, and last, you must think about a topic and create a story that asks how many each at the end. You must provide the answer or the quotient to your number story. Step 1. Do equal shares for the divisor. This is the same problem. Remember that 3 is the divisor and 12 is the dividend. So we do three, three peoples for your divisor. Then we create circles and dots. Notice the colors, blue and purple. Here's your problem again. We know that three is the divisor and 12 is the dividend. So we have three people we are going to share with. So we have to draw three circles. In this case, ovals for each person. One, two, three. Now we divide it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Find the quotient. So we know that twelve divided by three equals four, but how did we find four? Let's go use this circle to determine the quotient. Ready? One, two, three, four. There are four dots in each circle. Therefore, the quotient is four. Now, the last step. You must think about a topic and create a story that would ask how many each at the end. You must provide the answer or quotient to your number stories. Since we used brownies in the beginning for equal shares, I will use that same topic. So, here is my division problem. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 3 is my divisor, 12 is my dividend. I have 3 people with 12 brownies to give. I gave 4 brownies to each person. So here is my story. My mom baked 12 brownies for my 3 friends. How many brownies did each friend get? My answer is 4 brownies. That's it. Try it out.